Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a wear test review, first impression on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I have not been this excited about a new foundation release in such a long time, and I do really love the original Photo Focus. This foundation makes the skin look so perfected and smoothed and airbrushed, but the original one definitely was a little bit more of a mattifying formula, a little bit more on the heavy side. I definitely always like to share this one out with the brush but this was really really great and ideal for me when I had more like oily and acne prone skin it really covered what I needed it to cover it controlled my oils for a long time and let me tell you you guys this foundation is called photo focus for a reason because it looks amazing amazing in pictures this was the foundation that I also had in my makeup artist kit for a while so nonetheless I really did enjoy the original photo focus and I'm sure you guys know this if you have been watching my channel for maybe like the past year or so but overall I've just been really into a more dewy and lightweight foundation I still like full coverage but I just love more of a dewy and fresh natural look I don't love being as matte anymore so when I saw that wet n wild released their photo focus foundation in a dewy formula I knew I had to purchase it rarely do I ever try anything from wet n wild that I truly and totally dislike so I have high hopes for this foundation I am so excited to test it out. You guys know if it says dewy, I want to put it on my face. So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video. We're going to be testing this out for the first time together. So I hope you enjoy and let's just go ahead and get started. On the Wet n Wild website, the Dewy Foundation retails for $6.49. Wet n Wild is one of those brands that the price really fluctuates depending on where you buy it. Definitely going to be the most expensive on their own website or Ulta, but I'm sure you could find this for cheaper at Target. I'm not sure how much cheaper, maybe like $4.99, $5, something like that, but either way, at its most expensive, $6.49 is still a really, really great price for a foundation. And in these foundation bottles, you are getting 0.9 fluid ounces, so just shy of an ounce of product. The foundation is available in 20 shades, which isn't horrible for a drugstore foundation, but I feel like there are so many drugstore foundations that are just releasing so many shades shades. The Maybelline Fit Me line has 40. The new Milani Screen Queen foundation has 45 shades. So I definitely feel like Wet n Wild is off to a good start, but for being a more like established brand who has released base products in the past, I just want more shades from Wet n Wild. And although 20 does seem like a decent start, I'm going to keep it real, you guys. This shade range is only decent in the fair and light kind of going into medium category. There are so many different shades of light neutral like cool, fair cool, fair neutral. The one thing that definitely concerned me the most is right here is when it comes to the deep and dark category, which is so unfortunate that we are still seeing this in the industry, you guys. If you take a look at this photo right here, this definitely needs some improvement. If you guys look at the jump between the top two shades and then the three shades on the bottom, I feel like there are so many in-between shades missing. It's just so unfortunate that we're seeing this because we are in 2020. I feel like brands should be getting the memo. I just don't know why there is such an extensive shade range and breakup of like fair, light, medium, and there's a bunch of different undertones. And then when you get to the deep dark, there's only like five shades and a huge jump in between them so definitely let me know what you guys think I really hope wet and wild gets it together because I just love their products and I want everyone to be able to try them and like I said it's 2020 so if we don't have inclusive shade ranges there's like basically no point in launching the foundation I went ahead and picked out the shade nude ivory which is classified as their light neutral shade I typically am a light neutral especially now in the winter I am at the fairest that my skin typically ever gets. In the original Photo Focus foundation, I have the shade Soft Beige, which this is typically my summer shade. This is the light, medium, warm. And I tried this on recently and it was just a little too dark for me. So going up a shade and leaning more neutral put me at nude ivory. So I hope this is a good shade match for me. It definitely looks a little bit light in the bottle, but from personal experience with the original Photo Focus, this definitely oxidizes 
is a lot. So I'm assuming the same thing is going to happen with the dewy formula. So I just went ahead and threw my hair back with some hair clips. I know it looks a little bit funny, but I couldn't find anything smaller. So this will have to do just until the application is done. I'm going to be prepping my skin like I always do just to get a fair and true test of the foundation. Sometimes I see people do like half with no primer and half with primer, but I think you should always test out a foundation in the way that you would always wear your foundation just to see how it reacts with your favorite products and things like that. So I'm gonna be starting off first with a little bit of Fix Plus. You guys know the drill here. And then of course, prepping the skin even further with my favorite primer of all time. This makes my skin look amazing, so I definitely wanna have this on under every single foundation that I wear and test out, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the skin like I normally would. Ooh, that might be a little too much, hold on. I think I put a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna wipe the excess off of my hands and spread this out. Now we are going to officially apply the foundation. I just pulled you guys in even closer so we could see how the foundation applies. So this has the same exact bottle, by the way. I don't think that I touched on that earlier. Literally the same exact bottle as the original Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I'm also assuming that this is going to have the same paddle applicator. Yes, it does. So these aren't necessarily my favorite applicators. They're not the most sanitary. I would definitely prefer a pump, but I still prefer the paddle over just like shaking some of the foundation out on my finger. So I'm just going to start applying this. I don't know how much I will need. So maybe I'll just start with that much. The shade looks a little bit light on my skin tone, but like I said earlier, I wanna see if this oxidizes, and honestly, I'd rather go a little bit lighter to start off with and then add more bronzer than go too dark for myself right now in the winter. And to blend that out today, I'm gonna be going in with my favorite e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Ooh, ooh. Very, very luminous and dewy so far. I was expecting this foundation to smell a lot stronger than it does just because the original Photo Focus smells a lot like paint. But this foundation definitely doesn't have as strong of a scent. If anything, it almost might have a little bit of like a perfumey fragrance to it, which I don't love but it's not as intense like the L'Oreal. It kind of smells like a mild version of the L'Oreal Freshwear, but the smell isn't bothering me. It kind of just smells clean. It definitely smells more clean than that heavy paint scent that the original Photo Focus has. Let's go ahead and do a little on my forehead so we could do half of the face and see how it looks. So there is half of my face done. Really, really pretty finish, you guys. Definitely a dewy formula. Definitely not full coverage. I would say it's like a light medium coverage right now, but I definitely wanna see if it could go ahead and be built up. But I just wanted to show you guys one layer of the foundation on this side versus nothing on my skin on this side. It definitely evened my skin out, definitely added a nice dew and luminosity to the skin. The color is throwing me off a little bit because this is too light for me. I picked out my shade online, so maybe I'll have to go in store and exchange it for something different, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the first layer on the other side of my face just to even things out, and then I'll go ahead and build up some spots that need to be built up, but so far, let me get a little closer so you guys can see. I think the finish of the foundation itself is really, really beautiful. I really hope that this stays looking nice throughout the day, but so far I am loving this. The finish is beautiful and it definitely does have a pretty decent coverage for one layer, 
but like I said, I still want to go ahead and try to build it up just to make it a little bit more like medium to full on some areas. With one layer right off the bat, this is definitely not a full coverage foundation. I definitely see some like veins and some spots peeking through, but at the same time, it definitely has a pretty decent like medium coverage. Like I said, I want to go ahead and try to build it up a little bit, but so far the finish is very, very beautiful. I think it looks really great on top of the skin and on top of the primer that I used. It's just unfortunately pretty light on me. I don't know if you guys can see the difference definitely between my face and my neck. My neck is definitely darker. So hopefully we could kind of pull up the hoodie and make it work today with some bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and try to layer a little bit more of the foundation on the lower parts of my cheeks because that's definitely my problem area. After the second layer, the foundation is looking exactly how I want it to. It is looking so beautiful and luminous and it has a really nice high medium coverage to it. I definitely think if you went in with even more, you could build this up to full, but honestly, I'm very, very happy with the coverage that I'm getting out of this foundation right now. This is looking beautiful on the skin. I am very, very happy with this. I just went ahead and used my favorite Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I mixed two shades together and the concealer still is a little bit darker than the foundation. So hopefully it's not looking too weird, but I just wanted to show you guys how the skin was looking after concealer is applied. The foundation is still looking amazing. I am really, really happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face, powder, bronze the skin, everything like that. And then I will come back to do my first check-in and show you guys how the skin is looking once my full face is done. So I will be back in just a sec. All right, you guys, I am back and my face is done. Here's what the skin is looking like after powder, bronzer, and everything like that. I do have on a lot of bronzer today just to try to like even out the shade of the foundation as much as I could tone-wise. But here is how the skin is looking. I'll insert a little close-up right here. I definitely think the skin looks so nice. I went ahead and applied powder and I think the powder looks absolutely beautiful on top of this foundation. I didn't use a ton of powder because I was scared to take away too much of that dewiness, but I am that type of person that definitely has to set the skin. But the dewiness and luminosity of this foundation is definitely still peeking through the powder. So all in all, so far, I am obsessed with how this looks on the skin. I think the skin has a great amount of coverage, yet it still looks very like glowy and natural at the same time. It is just a really beautiful foundation so far. I hope it stays like this throughout the day. That is the first update on the foundation. It is 12:20. 1230 right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I've been wearing the foundation for just about an hour. I started application at 1130 and this is how the skin is looking. So like I said, so far so good. I am hoping that this holds up throughout the day, but I guess we are just going to have to see. So I will see you guys at the end of the day. I am going to try to do like at least another like eight hours. Maybe I'll come back at 8.30 to make it a nine hour wear test. I will see you guys at the end of the day and we will see how the foundation is looking on the skin. Hi guys, so it is a little bit later in the day now and I figured I would do a little check-in for you guys. It is currently 6.24, I don't think you guys can see that. So it is almost seven hours since I started applying the foundation and I figured that I would come on here and check in because Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so, so dewy. I wanted to come on here because honestly, if I'm keeping it real, my face started feeling uncomfortable a little while ago, so I wanted to come up here and look at the foundation, analyze my skin under the studio lighting, and just see what was going on because my skin definitely is starting to feel a little uncomfortable. I got a little nervous that I might be getting like a rash or something. If you guys have seen past foundation reviews, you know that I do have pretty sensitive skin, but so far after seven hours of wear, I am very, very, very 
very luminous. This is probably the most dewy that I have been this quickly from a foundation in a very long time. And right off the bat, I could say if you are oily, avoid this foundation because this is very shiny, as I'm sure you guys can see. Here's what the skin is looking like up close after almost seven hours of wear. Really, really luminous, you guys. Almost, I'm feeling a little bit oily, and I don't really typically get oily anymore, so this foundation is definitely doing that to me. And I definitely see it breaking down on some spots, like around my chin, around my nose, and places like that. It's very, very sensitive to touch. All day I've been trying to be really careful, because even if I just like lightly scratch my face it comes right off it's really sensitive to like transferring and stuff like that but wow i just cannot get over how dewy i look now especially that i'm under these lights it's looking a little bit more shiny than i typically like to look and you guys know i like to look dewy if i get even closer to the camera i think you guys can see it just kind of broke down on my chin around my nose and in some other little tiny spots, but that's how it's looking after seven hours. The oils are really gapping on the sides of my nose. So that is the end of the seven hour check-in. I'm going to try to make it two more hours to push this wear test to nine hours. Although it is feeling pretty uncomfortable on my skin, I really just feel like the oil seeping through this makeup. I'm going to try to push it for two more hours without any touch-ups or anything like that just so you guys can see how it is looking after nine hours. So I will be back in a few hours, just one second for you guys, and I will be back to wrap up the wear test. Hi guys, I am back. It is the next day. I am so, so sorry that I ended yesterday's wear test so abruptly. I'm sure you guys remember because you just saw it like two seconds ago, but at the seven hour mark yesterday when I was wearing the Wet n Wild foundation, at that point, it had just gotten very, very like oily on my skin. It really started to break down on my chin. And I know I told you guys in that wear test that I was going to push it a couple of more hours and hopefully get to like a nine hour wear test, but I honestly just couldn't, you guys. My dog is snoring right here if you guys hear something, but I really just couldn't keep the foundation on my skin any longer. For some reason, this foundation was feeling horribly uncomfortable on my skin. Like, I just could not wait to wash my face. The actual greasy appearance of it wasn't bothering me as much as how it actually felt. I could just feel the oils coming through and seeping through the foundation, and it just wasn't a fun time. I didn't want to leave it on anymore. So I did end up washing the foundation off yesterday after about seven hours of wear. Fast forward to today, I wanted to update you guys because I am wearing the foundation again, and I will insert some clips right here. I did go ahead and reapply the foundation today, but on top of an actual mattifying primer. I wanted to see if this would make any difference as far as how the foundation lasted on the skin, how the foundation felt on the skin and actually looked. And I have to say, you guys, I have had the foundation on with the mattifying primer for about maybe three hours now, and I do like how it's looking. But at the same time, the mattifying primer is still taking away some of that beauty that the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation has on its own. It just kind of killed all of the shine altogether, and I think it's looking a little bit flat on the skin, and I do have some dry patches around my face right now. I think I did mention it in the wear test last night that my face feels uncomfortable. I had to come check because I thought I was breaking out. And although at the time last night I wasn't, I did wake up, and I don't know if you guys can see, I am getting a pretty bumpy rash on some spots of my face, around my eyebrows. I'm sure you guys can see it starting to form especially on my chin. My face is starting to feel itchy, so I definitely think that is why my face was feeling uncomfortable last night. I am conflicted about this foundation because yesterday when I applied it without the mattifying primer, I thought it looked beautiful on its own. I loved the glowy look. It looked beautiful with powder. Under the rest of my makeup, I loved it. It just got way too oily quickly throughout the day. And now today with the mattifying primer, I'm just not loving how it looks on the skin. It looks kind of dull with like shine peeking through in some places, but it almost doesn't look like a natural shine. I almost do feel like I am looking a little oily again, and I'm not typically the most oily person, so 
it's just not my favorite, you guys. The longer I test out this foundation, I have to say, you guys, this is reminding me a lot of that same experience that I had with my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I'm not sure how many of you caught that review here on my channel back in the summer, but there was something about the Fenty Beauty Foundation that looked pretty upon first application, but then I didn't like it towards the end of the day, and it felt really uncomfortable on the skin. I am someone who could keep my foundation on for so long, literally all day long 12 hours plus and I couldn't keep that Fenty one on more than like six or seven hours without going crazy and literally just wanting to rip the foundation off of my face unfortunately I am having that same experience with the wet n wild photo focus plus I am seeing a little bit of that like textury rash which tells me my skin is just not agreeing with this all in all one final quick conclusion this foundation is just not the one for me I don't think it's horrible it's just not not having the best reaction with my skin and I'm just having trouble making it work. I think if you guys have very dry to normal skin you will like this. I don't know that you will love this if you are oily because I'm not an oily person and this got really greasy on me. All right you guys so that is going to complete this video. Those are my thoughts on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and found it helpful. If you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't wanna miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.